Welcome everybody. Today we're going to build a project off this one piece of metal I found. To me, it kind of looks like a face and a head. So let's get started. I also gathered a lot of other pieces that might make this work. I've got some assortments of washers that I'm thinking that might work as part of the face. I've got some nuts and bolts. I found the end of this. I think I'll use this valve maybe to make the end of the saxophone. Also found a piece of metal that's kind of curly in the shape of a saxophone that I might be able to curl and bend and cut to make, make actually work for the horn. I think we might be able to put some of these, maybe something like this on there to make the keys. We'll decide as we go along. So we've got to figure out our body, we've got to figure out our head and all the pieces that go with it. gather the extra parts that I need to build his body and his face and along with the pieces to make his legs, arms, and saxophone. Then I'll, once I kind of have it roughly laid out, then I'll start cleaning everything up and put it together as a finished piece. Now I begin cleaning all the pieces. I'm using a magnet on the table today because these small pieces are hard to hold by hand and this magnet really works good to hold them in place while I use the wire brush to clean it up. It takes some time to get this done, but in the end it's well worth the effort. As I finish cleaning all the pieces up, then I begin laying them out and welding them together on the table. As I continue to weld the small parts to his face, he begins to take shape. I add small details such as the eyelids or eyebrows right above, and I use a pair of pliers to keep from burning my fingers as I hold them in place. Now I'm marking a pin I found to use as his nose. Then once I get it cut, I'll weld it into place. Then I move on to the legs. I used two bolts and I'm welding them together in the middle. Now that I have the legs welded, I'm marking them to cut them down to length so make them proportional to the body. Once that's done, I'll weld them into place to make him stand up. I use the pieces of the bolts that I cut off to make his feet. Once I get the feet welded on, I'll take them and grind them flat on a grinding wheel so he'll stand up. Now it's time to move on to the saxophone. So I start by cutting and bending the piece of metal that I found that I think will make the perfect shape. Using a vise and a hammer, I adjust this piece of metal to the shape that I want it to be. Then I also look at some reference photos to make sure I've got it right. Once I have the shape I'm happy with, I add the uh, valve I found, cut it down, and then I'll weld it together to make the finished horn. Once it's welded together, I add a piece of chain to add a little bit of detail to the saxophone. After I get everything welded, then I start cleaning up the horn so it'll be ready to mount to the body. I'm careful in this process not to grind anything off that's necessary or break any of the welds. Just want to clean everything up and make it look good. I decided his body was a little out of proportion to his head so I added a nut for his neck to kind of give him a little extra height.
After I get the head and body cleaned up, I go ahead and position it to make sure everything looks good, then I weld the head to the body. Now that most of his body is complete, I decide I'm going to add the hands and I use a set of castle nuts that I found because I think they kind of look like fingers. As I weld these nuts in place, I'm careful to make sure that the horn will stay in place and look like he's really holding it. It actually works out pretty well. Then I go ahead and weld the uh, saxophone to the actual hands and his face. You'll see here I weld a hat to his head, but I think it's out of proportion so I ended up taking it off and replacing it with some hair that I made out of some small nails. Now that he's almost complete, he's ready to be cleaned up a little more. I'm going to grind off any excess metal and clean up any areas that I think uh, need to be a little detailed, maybe even add some extra weld if I need to. To allow him to stand up and be able to attach him to a base, I add a piece of rod and weld it to his foot and then I'll stick it through the gear I found, weld it to that, cut off the excess and grind it flat. I add a little black paint just to give it a little depth. Then I take off some of it with a scotch bright to give him some highlights. With a little creativity, spare parts, and some simple tools, I was able to bring this saxophone player sculpture to life. If you'd like to see more content like this, please comment below. And always, please like and subscribe.